everybody, this is Lollipop081 MLE here today, and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art. Now we are back to doing his uh, Victorian era stuff, and if you can guess by the title, yes, I am doing another piece with Queen Victoria's daughters. Well, actually, one of them. It's uh, yes, yeah, so I'm doing Vicky again. This is probably like the third time I did her again on my channel. And this time around, I actually drew her with her husband, Frederick, who happens to have been the heir to the German Empire or the Crown Prince of Prussia when um, Victoria, the younger Victoria, a.k.a. Vicky, got married to him. And for a while, I wanted to do... Uh, Vicky in her wedding dress for a while and I, I and rarely I usually I do male characters but it's usually it's hard to do male characters at well I can do them it's just it's complicated basically um Vicky and Frederick's relationship we know that she had gotten married to Frederick in, hold on a second, so they got married in 1558, January 25th, 1858, which distinct, which actually so solidified the, um, the, a lot in sit on the lines between Great Britain and Prussia, which was Germany's chief principality at the time. Victoria, a.k.a. Vicky, was the bride, and obviously Frederick of Prussia would later become Frederick III, German Emperor and King of Prussia, who was the son of Wilhelm I, and Augusta of Saxe, uh, of Valmar, uh, Essenarch. And by the way, here comes, like, a bit of, like, what the research came in for this. I used a painting called the wedding of victoria and frederick here and it's a very iconic painting by the way and back when victoria was actually happy because albert was alive so anyways facts here they married at uh, saint james's Pal in the chapel royal of saint james's palace in london and um facts on vicky's wedding dress her gown was comprised of a rich robe of white because, again, in 1840, uh, her mother, Queen Victoria, had popularized brides wearing white. And before that, brides usually wear what their best dress. And usually a lot of wedding events took place in the evening before Victoria's time. And when she came to the throne and she got married to Albert, you, it, the ceremony was in the morning, and you got a breakfast. So anyways, back onto Vicky. Her gown, it was, the gown was composed of a rich robe of white um, moire antique ornament with three flounces of um, Honeyton lace. The dress of the, the design of the lace consists of bouquets in the open work of the rose, shamrock, and thistle in three medallions. At the top of each flounce on the back of the dress were wreaths of orange and myrtle blossoms. And basically with Vicky, she popularized putting sprigs of myrtle into her wedding bouquet because myrtle represented fertility and purity and whatnot. In the last... The latter, again, like I said, the latter being a bridal flower of Germany. Every wreath ended with bouquets of the same flowers, and the length of each being so graduated as if to give the appearance of a robe hemmed with flowers, which is pretty cool. And here we go with the dress right now. And yes, I tried to replicate it as best I could. Like, yes, my style has changed, obviously, and the, with Autodesk and its many tools, I get to add different, like, 
uh, represent flowers and whatnot in a quicker way without um, doing much, de basically being too detailed. Sometimes you have to go simple here, um, simplify them and not go to extreme. Anyways, back onto Vicky's wedding dress. Um, the apex of this floral pyramid was formed by a large bouquet worn on a, a griddle. The train, which was of an unusual length of more than three yards, was white uh, moire antique, turned with two rows of hon on Huntington lace, surrounded by wreaths similar to those on the flounce of the dress with bouquets at uh, short intervals. So, and since we got a bit of time here, let me describe you guys uh, Vicky's relationship with Frederick. They met when uh, Frederick King visit uh, London during, well, basically they were per they met at the Great Exposition and Frederick was about eight years Victoria Senior, she was 11 at the time and he was 19, and they got along well. They started a, um, a really, basically, they like, um, yeah, she basically guided Frederick around the expedition, and she was able to converse in perfect German with Frederick's few words of English, and it was a success, and there was positive, um, reception with that and then after that they um they began corresponding their friendship was blossoming and then he came back and stayed at Balmoral in 1855 and that's when he proposed to her and they hit it off again but the thing um thing here was that was that Vicky was 15 and she was a little shorter than her mother and they said she was far from beautiful hey she is beautiful in my opinion she's probably more prettier of all of her daughters so anyways their relationship and marriage was pretty much a love match as we know their engagement was announced in 1556 and yeah there was this approval on both sides but the marriage went ahead and basically they really they were very content and one of the things that Vic Vicky did popularize in her time as um, when she got married was that she also popularized the whole um, coming out onto the balcony of Buckingham Palace to greet the crowds with her husband Although, before that, before, again, this was before, um, it was acceptable to share a kiss in public. So now I'm going in. I tried to replicate the chapel in the painting by, again, it, the artist was, name is John Philip. So, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed this episode of Lollipop Speed Art, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, and DeviantArt. The latter, DeviantArt, is where the final piece is at. And I also post videos like this every Fridays and Saturdays, Lollipop Sings, Lollipop Speed Art, and Lollipop Discusses. And I hope you enjoyed this, and let me know if you want to see more of pieces like that. And I will see you next time. And peace, y'all.